Alright, so you want to go to the EdPy app and then launch the app. So, launch. And then we've got a Edison version to start programming. And then it just imports the Edison library, which you can search on the right hand side all the different functions, um, which is something simple. We can just turn the LEDs on. LED, we'll just turn the left LED on and just type in on. And then we'll do a uh, time delay or a time wait for one second. And then we'll do LED off and it just auto completes everything. I've noticed that all these built in functions, the library is tied directly to it. So when you start typing things in, it'll try to autofill it for you. And just something simple. We'll have the LED go on and then stay on for a second and then off for a second and just repeat that. And I'm pretty sure with this one, you have to do a while loop. Um, so you could just throw that into a while loop. And that should blink everything, or that should just blink the left LED on and off forever. And then what you can do is click the check, check code, no errors. And then over here it says program Edison in this top corner. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got your Edison plugged in to the headphone jack. Make sure the headphone jack is turned on so your volume output is completely on and all the way up. So you have to turn all your volume all the way up. And then you just plug the programming cable into the bottom of the Edison. Make sure the Edison is on. Plug the other end into the headphone jack and then you hit the um, the circle on the Edison. On the top of the Edison there's a circle. You click that circle and then you can hit program Edison and it creates this uh, wave file and then once you have the Edison plugged in uh, which I'm not going to do because I have my headphones and my microphone plugged in right now as I'm making this video uh, but you can click this program Edison and the Edison will actually make like a like a buzzing noise and that's how you know that it's being programmed. Hopefully that helps. It is kind of challenging to get it going at first, but once you figure out the procedure for getting the code onto the robot, it's, I mean, it's just something you have to practice at. Unfortunately, it's, there's really no, there's no documentation on it, but maybe that's something that I'll be working on developing over time. Um, I haven't tried the drag and drop programmer, so I don't know the features of that one yet. So I, I can look into it. I'm not sure which one you were using, but for the Python one, that's how you do it.